Frank Castillo. Man. Okay. Then we got Hannibal Thompson. Yes, sir. Funny dude. You popping? You popping on the uh, social media now? Yeah, you been Instagram. getting on your yeah on yeah. your Instagram? Been getting on the Instagram gram, on Instagram grind. Uh -huh. And Cam Tory, Cameron yo, yo. Tory. He has the most dangerous room <laughs> in all of Hollywood. <laughs> He has the y'all know about his. <laughs> is that the room where Mike Tyson got a gun? That's yes, absolutely sir. correct. How did wow. I know? Hey, 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 Frank, Frank, Frank. Wow. See, the thing is, we got we're gonna clear it up right here. If you watch the thing on TV, Talk, talking to the mic, pull it. Everybody yeah. says that it was Mike Tyson who got the gun pulled, and they're taking my street credit because it was like they pulled the gun on me, bro. I'm like, don't be taking my, you know. what I mean? <laughs> In the video, it do look like, oh, no, Mike Tyson pulled, was just Mike trying Tyson to defuse was there. it. He was harassing Mike Tyson. And we didn't have security at the time. So I'm like, yo, shit, bro, you got to go. Yeah. But wait and a minute. Do, do y'all have security now? Yes, is the question. we do. We got security. <laughs> they we, got the TSA ones. what you didn't know they is got that guy detectors. was his own security. Yeah, well, you know, uh, we handled it pretty well. We gotcha. handled it well. We diffused it well. But, yeah, no, they pulled the gun on me, not Mike. So. Oh. Well, but why did they pull the gun on you? Well, because he was harassing Mike in the middle of the show. Darius Bennett was on stage in the middle of a bit. And dude just pulls up, and he was like, yo, Mike, Mike, I need that fade. I need that fade. And it's like, I'm in the back. They're like, yo, Cam, yo, someone's tripping. So I go up to him. I'm like, hey, bro, you got to get up out of here. He was like, no, 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 fuck that. I need that fade. I'm like, bro. Hey, Lee, make sure your uh, shit on mute. Hear this nigga typing yeah. and texting right. bitches and shit. So, <laughs> I'll be over here in about an hour. All right, yeah. that motherfucking uh, goddamn Tinder profile. Cling, <laughs> fucking going off and shit. Go, what are you saying? Yeah, yeah. so... Pretty much, man. So I'm like, hey, bro, you got to go. He's like, nah, fuck that. I'm like, you didn't just hear me? Like, I don't like that, bro. It's like, you're being rude. It's my show. So I snatched him. I grabbed him. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm not playing with you. You got to go. And he was like, oh. And sometimes I got to be careful because I'm a bigger dude. So when I snatch somebody, it's like, and I'm upset. It's right, like, right, oh, right. okay, I didn't have to grab him like that. It was a little rough. But He's it was like, he aggressive. was like, oh, it's like that. And he pulls out a pistol. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm just Here standing there. I'm yeah. like, right, and, then, <laughs> Again. And, and the thing is, is like I'm standing there and I'm like, all right, whatever. And I did something. Sometimes you do stupid shit when you're just in the moment. I went like this. I tried to like just do like the Mayweather roll where I went like that. Okay. And it was like that's not. I looked at the video and I was like, was that gonna stop the bullet? Like that's all. You, like you tried to neo. You're yeah. Right. Well, yeah, wow. man. And then and the funny thing is too, you had comedians out there like you know some people present themselves to be a little bit more hard than they actually are because they're yeah. like you have motherfuckers under the table you had somebody right. jumped on another comedian's back as soon as the shit came out and i was yeah. like you know some people have never seen a gun in real life or like ever had a situation like yeah. that happen and it's very it's i don't want to say it's funny to watch but it is very like oh okay <laughs> well it's you know good I mean? most people haven't got a gun pulled on them yeah, you know yeah, what i mean I, so yeah, like, which i guess is a good thing in life you know what i mean yeah no it is. <laughs> you never, yeah, exactly you never it had a gun is. pulled on you just you know, but it it's in those moments that you realize where you're like, oh yeah, there's people like that that don't that exist. Like I remember mm -hmm. uh, we, I was in Hacienda Heights. Have mm. you ever been there? There's a room. Yep. It's a Mexican place, uh, and it's uh, I think it's, it's like a biker bar. There's like a you know I think it's the Mongols that go there. They have a comedy show there. It's a very famous like Mexican room. So it's like you go, you cut your teeth there. And I remember I got to do a spot there, and uh, I I've had family that did bike shit, so it was kind of like it wasn't. I wasn't as intimidated because it was also like, you know, I'm not selling drugs. I'm also not fucking trying to be like these guys. I'm just here trying right, to make right. people laugh. So it was like they fucking left me alone. And I was being respectful. There was a comic there who'd never been in that situation before. So he was just like, you could just tell he was like visibly like uncomfortable. And then we're all like smoking weed in the hallway of the bar that it's at. And the owner's there. And the kid that he's smoking weed with doesn't know he's the owner. And he's like, are you guys smoking weed in the hallway? Oh, fuck that. And he walks away and he gets two of the bikers to come back and they start like getting in the kid's face. He was like, are you fucking smoking weed in our place? And the kid just starts losing. He was like, it wasn't my weed. It was their weed. And then they all just start kind of laughing. They're like, we're going to do anything. And they go to oh, the restroom shit. and we all die laughing. I was like, this motherfucker just threw us all under the table right. for no fucking reason. Right. Dude, it was it was very, very funny. Well, I thought you were about to say they pulled our guns on him. Right, right, right. right. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm right. thinking like, I'm waiting for that. Yeah. Like, they like, visibly like, saw he was like nervous. So they just started fucking with him immediately. <laughs> y'all ever like, oh, had shit. a gun pulled on y'all? Mm -hmm. Well. I've been shot before six times. The same day? Yeah. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> well, now, what, what were you All doing? All in one sitting? What were you doing? You uh, were doing some... What were you doing? I'm going to let you say it. To be, honest, to be honest with you, I was just walking up the street. Where at? I was in San Francisco, in the Bay. Mm -hmm. Was I he was gay? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 
The drive. <laughs> there you go, pink, boop, boop, right? It's a pink Chevy. Right. That's funny. Pink what, what, Tahoe. What's, what, what's crazy, I'm going to tell you what I was doing. I'm going to keep it real with you. So I was young. So I was mm-hmm. a, a little younger, running the streets. And uh, I was looking to break in the car. Mm. But the I San didn't get Francisco sh- treat. No, I didn't get <laughs> I didn't get shot for look because when I was where I was walking at it wasn't no cars. I was walking past the Walgreens, and um, like I said, I was in the streets. I was young, and um, you said you court- was in the streets where you were you playing double dutch or you were selling. What, what I, I wasn't. Say? Okay. I wasn't. I wasn't sell. I well, of course, I, I sold dope. Okay. But um, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was. It was like on some ri- a rivalry thing. Okay. So I was in the streets like that. But so I was like, I was 18. So um, I'm walking up the street and out the corner of my eye, I can see like a hooded sweatshirt bouncing like this. So, you know, I look and the bounce was in straight right in front of me. So when he's right in front of me, I got shot in the leg first. I hit in the leg first and I fell. So the, the gun jammed though when I fell. So I'm trying to kick the gun out the dude's hand. And uh, as I'm trying to kick it out of his hand, he unjammed it and unloaded the rest of the clip. And oh, shit. Got, you know, so, and uh, into my legs, though. So I didn't get hit up here. And I so was he aiming at your legs or was he aiming for your body? And he just he got... kind of turned his head like scared when just shooting. So it hit me on the legs. Oh, he a bitch ass nigga. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was shooting like a hoe. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, Man, he really fucked your legs up. Right, right, right. So um, I just, it was, it's crazy because people always ask me, like, did it hurt? It didn't hurt. Like, it was just. Adrenaline. My legs just felt like they was bouncing off the ground. But what did hurt is when I got in the ambulance, I got shot once in this leg, shattered my shin right here in this leg. I got shot by my, uh, I got skint in the nuts. Ooh. Ooh. In the, I hit in the groin and I got hit three times in my left ass cheek. Ooh. So shot the bounce, the they bounce. shot me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the bounce, like on the, the bounce from the ambulance was Ooh. hurting on my ass, was hurting like a motherfucker. That was like the worst part. How long before you could take a, a doo-doo uh, without it being painful? No, man. How long How long till you're able to bust a nut? <laughs> no, no, no. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it like, it didn't. He was like, immediately. Like, right. I checked. <laughs> I got four kids. It didn't hit my nuts <laughs> After that. So, like, it's like, it didn't hit my nuts or nothing. But um, I could take a shit. I was just sitting, like, with my right cheek down and my left cheek, like, in the air a little bit for, for right. a few weeks, you know? I yeah, Cameron, you ain't never being shot. Nah, thank God. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, right, no, right, right, right. No, no, no. No. What's crazy is the guy that, uh, that that shot you ended up growing up to try to press Mike Tyson at his show. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That was him, right? That's right. Yeah, I've seen the video. But this is why I say he got the most dangerous room because I was there a different night. Before, <laughs> oh, shit. Before Mike Tyson situation yeah. happened, like literally like two weeks earlier or something, there was a, a white comedian on the stage, Johnny Mitchell. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> I had for that, making him famous. Yeah, he definitely yeah. made him famous. Yeah. I, I heard he's like pop, like super popular on now. YouTube. Yeah, he's got he had like, he hit a hundred million views. Damn. And he's got mm-hmm. subscribe. And it all happened when he released the yeah. video of him getting snatched off stage. Yeah. Oh, so he but he was recording that night. Mm-hmm. I was recording. And oh. He asked for the footage. Oh, oh. And first, <laughs> <laughs> yo man, he was leaving this motherfucker out of everything. Right, right? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. And so he asked for the footage. And at first I was like, nah, it's a bad look for the room. But then I'm like, you know Publ- what? Publicity. 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 And, I, and that's what it was. So I was like, I'm going to just go ahead and give it to him. And I'm like, it's his story. If he wants to share it, go ahead. Right. You know, Anybody so. that didn't see it, uh, you should look it up. But basically, Johnny was on stage. It was some game. It was a, it was all black room. And uh, it was already a dude in the back that was messing with him for no reason, though. It was like they, he just had a hater for no reason. Because Johnny's a tall white guy. Tall white dude. Well, and, 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 and he's he kind of goofy looking. Well, and he has, Johnny has like this uh, air of confidence to him to where it's like, and I call it white confidence, yeah. to where it's like, they got confidence, but it's like, it's because of situations and how you grew up. And it's right. not real, real right. confidence. Uh, it's that white confidence to where it's like, oh, ba-boom, ba-boom. And it's cool, but... If you're from, especially hood dudes, they don't like that because they can see kind of right through it, and they're just like, ah. And it'd be, it'd be so the conscious hood you say, dudes too. Yeah. And this is when I knew he messed up. Uh, it was another game banger, admittedly so. Uh, he bought <laughs> he bought he bought my height, light skinned dude. First of all, you know, light skinned dudes got the most approved. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, I was about to say, yeah, that's, that's, that's they do. He so, came in frowning, so he had tatted up. Yeah, he did come in frowning. He, he woke up upset. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm not dark enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> straight up, straight up. So he they was going back and forth. 
And then Johnny called the the short game banger a snitch. So oh. funny. And when he so funny, and when he dude. called him a snitch, I'm like, bro, this is literally how Nipsey got murdered, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? They say that's the whole the dude got upset because Nip, Nipsey called it. So I'm right. thinking like, especially out here in gang culture, that word snitch is like the gang people's n word. That's like a cardinal sin right there, boy, mm -hmm. for real. And when he called the dude a snitch, that's when I knew the shit was gonna get serious, and that's when it got serious. And Man, then they you... tussled. And then, wait a minute, let me tell you about the tussle. They started tussling. I tried to help. I said, let me get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I said, let me mind my mother. Yeah, I'm five, six. I ain't right. doing this shit. <laughs> Man, this is five, eight territory. I'm good. <laughs> That's what Cam stepped in. I said, yeah, you got it. You got it. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm they, bu they bust through. It was like a scene out of a movie, bro. They bust through like the green room door and shit. I was like, oh, <laughs> But you already knew. I mean, because you from St. Pete. I'm right? from St. Pete, Florida. Yeah, so the, you, you black, you from St. Pete. You already it kicked in already. That's you a knew fact. For to go down. That's a yeah, fact, that, bro. That was you and, knew. And, and when I talking, saw him, y'all want a water? In yeah, there? I would love a water. Mm -hmm. When I saw him on top of Johnny, and that's how I knew. I was like, oh, let me save his face. Right. He was man, about to start he, pounding man, on. I already knew. On. So I was like, all right, now I got. At first, I was gonna let it play out because right. Johnny was like, he had been to prison, and I'm thinking like, yeah. you know, people have this. They talk a talk, and I'm not saying, look, Johnny's cool. Yeah. But when you talk a certain way and then some situation really happens, a lot of people freeze up. And yeah. I'm like, ah, I know what's happening. People so forget, it was like, people forget I, the comedy shit. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I mean, the thing is, man, it's just I've been in, you know, I, I haven't been shot, but I've been in, you know, some yeah. fights before. You know. And it's just like, you know. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. I was like, like oh, I know, I know this part. Yeah, so you're it's like, like it's getting a little dangerous. We got we so, got this. When I say we like black people, we got this certain type of sense like mm -hmm. well, shit gonna go mm -hmm. real left. So yep. yep, that's a sense that's like it, it was. It's like a, yep, it's a, it's just a feeling you, you have like a tingle. Like, like when it's like, just right. like, you got a uh, you got a nigga tingle. Yeah, yeah, yeah a, a ningle. A, 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 a ningle. A ningle. Oh, you heard? Oh, you heard? Oh, shit, my ningle went off. Oh, go ahead. All you heard was the word snitch. Forget every other word. You yep, heard yep. snitch and everything. He was like, ah, okay, yeah, that's yeah. good. That's a yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a that's a yeah, snitch. And it's crazy because when you hear someone call you snitch, it sounds a lot like bitch. And then yeah. you're just like this motherfucker.